Hi everyone, my name is Miss Alicia and today on Species Spotlight we will be going over the Io Moth. The Io Moth have wingspans that are little more than 3 inches wide. Females tend to be larger than males and have reddish coloration while males tend to be yellow. Males have thick bushy antenna and both sexes have eye spots on their hind wings which mimic vertebrate eyes. Caterpillars have a few different stages. They start off reddish and eventually end up lime green. All caterpillars have venomous barbs. Iomoth populations have been in decline since the 1970s. However, they can be found anywhere from Canada all the way through Mexico. They have a variety of host plants, which is why they have such a large range. Iomoth lays their eggs on different leaves of different host plants. In the Florida Keys, these include the point sienna, the sea poison, hibiscus, Washington fan palms, red mangroves, and nettle tree. After 8 to 11 days, their larvae emerge and go through multiple stages called instars. The exact number of these stages varies per host plant. Their final instar is a large lime green spiky caterpillar. Their cocoons are thin and papery and look like dead leaves. When the adults do emerge, they don't feed and they have a very short lifespan. Females immediately start producing pheromones, which attracts males quickly. Adults survive by only emerging at night, and during the day they camouflage and leaf litter. If they were to be disturbed by a predator, they would flash those eye spots at the predator. Those eye spots look like vertebrate eyes and scares the predator away. Io comes from Greek mythology. Io was a mortal and one of Hera's priestesses. Zeus, however, took a fancy to her. Hera found out about it and got mad and decided to go after Io. Zeus turned Io into a cow in order to hide her from Hera. However, Hera still found out and sent a group of swarming, stinging insects after Io. Since Io moths are both masters of camouflage and can also sing, sting, this seems like a fitting name.